Welcome back to Harbour Double O. Today I'm going to do a step by step tutorial on how to put an, a block into rock rail. I've got this block here already in rock rail and we're adding this block here. So I'll show you how to add the block, the track and the sensor and get the train to move automatically from this point here into this area here and stop a predetermined stop place. In this section here, I already have the track detection via current detection through the S88 bus, which is connected into the command station. So basically, the train is going to move from here into here and stop at a predetermined place. So over to Rockrail. So now in Rockrail, we're going to concentrate on this part here. I'm going to add in the next block in here so the train will move from this point to this point. First of all, I need to go to track plan and make sure it's on edit panel. If it wasn't on edit panel, I could not select any part. So make sure it's on edit panel and then you can add your bits and pieces in. First of all, I'll put a bit of track in here. Next, I need to put a sensor, put my sensor on this point here. And then onto the block and add a block in to this point here. A bit too far over there, bring in a little touch, and that's us in there. Now you can put the sensor here or you can put the sensor on that side. It doesn't really matter as long as you at least one sensor in on each block, like so. I like to put in a bit of track here, if I need be at a later date I can come back in here and put a signal in there. So I've got the block in now and I've got the sensor in. I now need to give the sensor an address. So into properties and interface. Because is different from the rock rail addresses. On the ECOS it is in module 2 and it is number 8 so 16 plus 8 gives you 24 so that's address 24 in there. Now I'll just go across to the track and check it and there we have it just use my finger on top of the track just to make sure it's set up. I then go into the properties of the block itself. Two or three things I need to change or need to check in here. It is on weight mode, it is on half automatic and also allowed to change the direction. I can set it as a terminal station as it is the last station on the, the block. Switch power track on first off. And go to analyze. So it's got the root generator created routes 24 to 26. Now I need to set the routes in the two blocks. So I'll do block 14 first. If I go into properties and into routes, I need to tell I need to tell the rock rail what sensor it's using and what to do with the sensor. So in there I add an FB16 and the event I'm going to give it, because I'm using one sensor, as enter to in. If you're using multiple center sensors, you use different events, i.e. three sensors, you'd have enter, then in, and then you get a third sensor saying exit. But for me, one sensor is fine, enter to in. I apply that, and OK, into tables. Blocks. Block 14 
I want to put the general details. I don't want to sit on cruise, so it's far too fast for a train to arrive at that speed. So I might put a minimum for block 14. And also block 12, I want to set to a minimum. Go to block 12. Details. Let's cruise, so put it down to minimum. Uh, because it's arriving very, very slowly, and we're using enter 2 in, I'd actually stop between the two blocks, so we need to give it a bit of time to move into the block. Here that we get a, a false reading, because this sensor we've done, and this sensor here would be shown as live as well. And the train wouldn't be uh, able to release these two blocks, so we need to put a bit of time from going from here into here. So now we can give it a try. Switch on the power, switch on automatic mode, and it arrives nice and slowly into block 14. Once it hits a block, the row starts by counting 5000 milliseconds before stopping. We we'll take it back. So again, five thousand more seconds, and it stops. Take it in again, and we'll measure it this time. How far it goes in, or we'll judge how far it goes in. So for me it's just too far, it's went beyond the volume. So place my track rubber there. I'll go into the settings in block 14. Properties and routes. This one here. We set to 5000 milliseconds, so I'm going to take it back a little touch. I'm going to take it back to 3000 milliseconds. And we'll take it back to block 12 first in automatic mode. Take it back to block 12. And this time we'll take it to block 14 and I'll count to 3000 milliseconds. And it should stop before the the rubber. And I think that's just perfect. So that's us folks. We've got a train and we've moved it into the shed and stopped at a predetermined space. If you want to move it further, you add more milliseconds on. You want to stop it beforehand, add milliseconds, take milliseconds off. But remember, if you're using short blocks, eh, give it enough time to enter the block as if it doesn't enter the block, it'll be a fault with the system so it thinks the previous block has got a ghost in it. So, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.